All right, I've got a riddle for you. What is 3,000 square feet? Is in a prime location and already over budget? It's my latest flip, of course. Why don't we go check this thing out? Yo, what's up? Welcome to MTV Cribs. About to check out my stuff right here. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, I wanna try a different one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Architectural Digest, great to see you. I'd love to show you my, my latest flip. Why don't you come on in? <laughs> Welcome to the largest house I have ever flipped. This one is over three thousand square feet of sweet 1990s gold i'm telling you look at this right here is that is that crystal no it's plastic why don't we take a look around i'm going to give you the tour of this place it is absolutely uh like awesome and has so much potential come and look at this first thing this is the the living room like the family room this is like the epicenter of the house it's right dead center of the house and it is so huge what's interesting though is like the placement of these windows and the door which leads out to a deck i don't know just yet we might be eliminating two of these windows so that i can make you know this this fireplace area bigger because you ain't gonna fit old 65 inch TV up on that thing, man. You ain't gonna fit a 75 inch, a 105 inch, okay? You ain't gonna do it. So you gotta be able to make that a little bit wider so that we can accommodate that. This house was custom built for the family that used to live here. They had crafted things the way that they wanted, which led to some unique choices, but all in all, it's a really, really cool house. It's like a mid-century modern. This, like to me, I think is gonna be the dining room of the house. They used to use this as their TV room. So this was like the, the family room, I guess you would call it. And that was the, the big room that we were in. It was good good living room with the nice furniture. Mom puts the plastic on the furniture so you can't, can't ruin that stuff, you know? Look at this kitchen. I feel like if this doesn't scream early 1990s, I don't know what will. Look at this green tile and you got the pink tile and then the white tile. Green was such a popular color. I mean, even the countertops, you could see here, green countertops here, the wood cabinets that are like that real yellowy orange color. Ugh. So the deal is these cabinets are actually in great shape. Uh, I'm gonna give them to a friend. So, but they don't know that yet. So shh, it's a secret. I think it is the weirdest thing that you can be in here and then, oh, just washing my dishes. Am I outside? Am I inside? I, I don't know. I'm, I, 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 I'm here. Hi, Lolo. <laughs> and so it is just a bizarre thing. You have a sliding glass door that leads into another room. <laughs> so I think what I've been thinking about what I'm gonna do with this room, I think I'm gonna end up turning this into a really cool office space. But what's interesting about this house is that you can literally just keep walking around and you, you're like, how did I get to this room? So we walk into here, all of a sudden, I was just in the kitchen, then I was in that like garden room, now I'm like in the laundry room. This room though, I'm telling you what, this is awesome. I mean, I don't know about you, but wouldn't you love to have a huge laundry room like this? You could be folding clothes and stuff. I'm honestly not gonna do too much in this space other than make it functional and clean it up and stuff, but this is gonna be awesome. I actually think I'm gonna put a door right here too, so that way it's a little bit of separation. You're not coming into the house and looking at the laundry. Then we have our first bathroom. Again, where, how did we get here? I don't even know where I'm at right now. I feel like we've just been walking around and next thing you know, I'm like, I don't remember, I'm lost already. I am so lost. And then somehow we ended up back in the kitchen area. Isn't this weird? It's such a funky layout. Check out the, uh, the bedrooms. Let's do it, come on. On our way to the bedrooms, we've got a half bath right here. Look at this. Listen. I love, I love the color black. I don't know, I might keep this pedestal sick. If I can't have it in this house, maybe I'll put it in my house, I don't care. I like that, what do you think, Lolo? Huh? Is that good? Yeah, I already saw it. Oh my gosh, I already saw it. <laughs> For those that don't know, this is my daughter, Logan, and she's the cutest. This is her first solo appearance on Flip the Script. You wanna come and see the other bedrooms with me? 
<laughs> All right, take your jacket off, sweet pea. All right, so let's save. This is bedroom number one. And these are nice size rooms. So this house has been vacant for over seven years at this point. It's so wild that it's such a nice neighborhood. Uh, this place has, you know, been unlived in. But this, when I first came in here, there were posters all over the place that the family ended up clearing out beforehand. But they did leave us little treats here. Look at this. This is early 90s right here. World Wrestling Federation by Coliseum Home Video. <laughs> got, got Diesel, got Brett the Hitman Hart. What? There was an Ultimate Warrior poster on the wall at one point that I really wanted, but you know, it's all right. It's all right. I missed out. I did not. I didn't add that in the contract. I didn't add that in the contract. Then this is bedroom number two. I mean, for kids' rooms, these are quite spacious. And whoa, babe, you got these huge closets. I don't know, like, about you, but my kids ain't got closets like that. Okay, shoot. Shoot, my girls don't have closets like that. That's a lie. Yeah, that's actually a lie. They have, they have huge closets. Okay, so then we got this bathroom here. This is, again, this is gonna get a revamp. I, I can't wait to do that. Vanity gone, floor gone, toilet gone. Whoa, whoa, baby, whoa. Are you picking your nose on video? No. You're eating it? <laughs> All right, now let me whisk you away on a romantic trip into the master bedroom. What goes on here, you might ask? I don't know. If you don't know, I don't know. Let your imagination run wild. And come into this space, look at this right here. You have a huge master bedroom. And then what's neat as well, I mean, like you have all of this natural light and everything that you can bring in as well. You start to, you look at this, eh, eh, eh. Nice view out. You can watch it rain, snow, whatever Northeast Ohio weather is gonna be like for you. That's what, that's what you'll get. So what is weird, this is to me the weirdest space in the house. We're walking into what is the master bath and it's awkward. It is really, really weird. So you first walk in to this area, all carpeted still. You have a walk-in closet over here, a vanity. Yeah, come check out this closet. So closet is decent size. Then you have this vanity and stuff over here. Then you got another walk-in closet over here. So his and hers. Oh, look at this. Just Thanks, cutie. Love you. Oh, <laughs> Stephanie and Joe, you guys. Those are the sellers that sold us this house. They're sweet. Sweethearts. All right, so now we're into the actual bathroom area. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Now, I don't really want to lay down in this because if you could come over here and closely and see, there's dead flies every, everywhere. Um, but imagine you could fit a couple of me in here. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Just have me chilling in this uh, tub by myself, with myself, you know? Maybe, uh, maybe a glass of champagne. Who drinks champagne? I don't drink champagne. Wine, Chardonnay. Maybe just a good old fashioned beer, okay? I don't, I don't know. There would be a beverage happening in this wonderful tub, all right? And then you have one minute. So here's the weirdest thing about this. And then you have the shower. This for a master bath does not feel grand enough for me. And it's really tight. Like I can touch both walls here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna gut this entire freaking bathroom. I'm ripping out the giant jacuzzi tub full of flies. I'm gonna rip out, we're gonna have double vanities in here. We're gonna have, it's another big shower. We need a big shower. We're gonna have a soaker tub. This freaking wall is gonna be gone, okay? We don't need this wall, do we, Lolo? Uh, no. So, you might be wondering, Sam, how much did you pay for this crazy house? It's so big. I know that you've, you like to spend money on what will be fun projects. Oh, You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But I actually only spent, and I'll tell you this, I don't mind, I don't mind sharing a secret with you because it's technically public record. <laughs> so it's not a secret. 
but I paid $125,000 for this over 3,000 square foot house. Whoa, almost tripped. And you might be going, holy cannoli, you bought an over 3,000 square foot house in Halland right by the Avalon, the Grand Resort for $125,000? Boy, how did you do it? Tell us the secret. Well, every home has a story. Every home has issues. Every home has secrets, I would even say. And those secrets, I may not be able to tell you if I trip and fall, but this one is no exception. Let me just tell you, this is just a little peek of what's going on. Somehow I have built a reputation that if your basement walls suck, it's for me. And so every single wall in this basement is compromised. So not only will this be the biggest flip that we've ever done, this is going to be the biggest basement wall job that I've ever tackled, okay? This is nuts. That back in the day when they were building this house, they didn't just put normal floor joists, they paid extra money to have floor trussing installed here. And then the basement walls, the foundation, I don't know what the story was. I don't know if like drainage was the issue. I don't know uh, if maybe it wasn't done up to snuff when they built the foundation, but it's just sad to me that they've got these expensive floor trusses and then the foundation that they were set on top of wasn't working. So you've got nice vertical cracks. I mean, vertical and then horizontal cracks. I know the difference between vertical and horizontal. I know that, don't you think I know that? I know that. I know that? You don't think I know that? This one's the best one over here. Look at this crack. It's almost like they're like, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. I, no, a little, a little bit of duct tape. That'll take care of it. There's no issue here. Don't, you, look away, look away. Look at how gnarly that crack is. This is, this is one of the walls that we have to totally remove. Every single wall has been compromised in one way or another. And so what we're gonna end up doing is we have, we have our good old boys at Herb Construction. They're gonna be coming down and we're gonna be jacking up the house. We're gonna be ripping out walls. We're gonna be repairing walls. We're gonna be putting rebar and concrete every four feet. It's gonna be great. All right, well, that's it. I've shown you the house. Audrey and I, we, we're so thankful that you could come by and, and check out the latest flip. We are gonna have so much fun in this house, right, Audrey? She's, she's nervous. She's, she's a little shy, okay? Um, <laughs> what's that? Oh, <laughs> she's whispering secrets, okay? Um, but uh, yeah, so anyways, tune in next week. We're gonna have a lot more fun. There's gonna be so much excitement at this house. And I believe the next time we should be doing demo. Like, share, subscribe.